I met him there that year. Uh, the same thing was I played and I got, there was some talk about me and Michael Brecker approached me and, and uh, he said, oh, I heard about you. I would like to hear you play. And oh, sure. Okay. So, so he assembled a little crowd in a little club on the, on oh. the festival area there. So there I was with uh, on stage playing solo for Brecker, Mike Manieri, Don Grognick. Oh, wow. Maybe maybe Steve Gadd was there. It was, it was just like anyway that caliber music, maybe six or seven of them, and me on stage playing and solo bass. <laughs> wow, man! Solo bass. And, and and I I realized that okay, this this is my opportunity. Now I have to I have to play. Yeah. I, have, I have to do it now. This is now. This is the one moment I have have uh, worked for. So so I did. I, I delivered, and and uh, Michael liked me a lot, and he he started introducing me. So one of the shows at that festival was Chick Corea and John McLaughlin in duet. Oh wow, man! So after the after that show, Brecker introduced me to uh, to John, and uh, and uh, and then uh, I made some other contacts and I was doing a record in 1982 in Stockholm mm-hmm. with uh, Michael Fried, the drum from Santana, Michael. And, uh, and he bumped into McLaughlin on the street in Stockholm. And uh, he said, oh, what are you doing here? And he said that he was playing, uh, making a record with me. And John said, oh, wow, really? Okay. Why don't you come to the concert tonight? He was playing with the trio with uh, Alvin Mjol and Papi Oh, yeah. So uh, we went, and then after that show, John told me that um, we will do something together. And I did not quite believe it still. Yes. <laughs> sure. So, but, but, uh, a few months later, he called me. And, uh, and, uh, and, uh, and you, you went to the States then? or uh? No, no, he lived in Paris at the time. He lived in Paris at the time, oh, okay. Yeah, no, so uh, the first thing we did was a trio with Billy Cobham and... John and myself, and that is also on the internet. That is, um, that is on YouTube. Oh, okay, to check it out. Yeah, that, that's the issue. And then uh, after that, we started that that tour in Havisna, and then after Havisna, we did the the uh, duet. That we I love that du- duet. Yeah, I have like four. Mm-hmm. A friend of mine, I, I think three or four uh, bootlegs. Uh, he got me huh? your, your duet, and it's. Uh, it's such a shame that it's not out as an officially as an album because it's amazing, man. It's like really. No, I, I, I'm very, I'm very happy about those. Yeah. I like it. I like it a lot. Too. The duets here, yeah, like you know, Electric Dreams and Follow You Heart, and uh, I don't know what else. You Telonius, you play, and it's just like. Mm. It's so so no, beautiful. It's, it's very nice. It's very very. Um, how would you say? Unpretentious. It's just like. Yeah. Here are the. Here are the pieces, here are the songs we play, and that's it. No, it's, it's, it's nice. It is. Yeah, because... because-